everyone, my name is Danielle. I'll go to another episode of Board Game Bakes. This week we're going to focus on Six Pence Bakery, which is a Dan Chris game, and I discovered it because they're also part of the Indie Game Alliance. In the game, you're trying to get 24 blackbirds into your pie, which sounds a lot easier than it is since they're all odd number cards and people can move the birds around a lot. I'm fresh out of blackbirds, so I decided to go with a chicken recipe. So we're going to make a chicken pot pie with a homemade pie crust. So this is definitely one that you could try at home and serve for your game nights. Let's get started. I fought the urge to buy stormy pie crusts, so we're gonna make our own. Number one trick that I've heard is to make sure everything is cold. So you can prepare your butter and even your flour and store in the fridge until you're ready to use it. To start, mix two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of salt in a large mixing bowl. Next, add in six tablespoons of unsalted butter. And you want this to have already been cut into cubes and chilled in the fridge. Also add two thirds a cup of shortening that has also been chilled. Go figure. Use a pastry cutter, seen here, or two forks to incorporate your fats into the flour until you have pea-sized bits, but maybe a few larger bits. At this point, slowly pour in a half a cup of ice water. So to get the ice water, you literally just put ice in a cup and then take that water that has already been chilled and measure that to make sure it's a half a cup. We're gonna slowly add it and only add enough water to make sure a dough's formed. Dump the dough into the counter and knead until the flour has been fully incorporated and it's a nice ball. Divide in two and make into discs. Wrap each disc in plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least two hours. Cha cha cha! While the dough chills, let's work on the yummy filling. To prep, I took a chicken breast and boiled it and shredded it. You could easily use a rotisserie chicken or a leftover chicken. I do not often make chicken pot pies. And after making it, I know why. They are very labor and love intensive. This is based off the Preppy Kitchen's recipe. Melt a quarter of a cup unsalted butter in a pan. Add in one cup chopped onions, one cup thinly sliced carrots, a half a cup chopped celery, and I should have added three cloves of garlic here. Cook that over medium heat until the carrots start to soften, which is approximately five minutes. Make sure you're stirring often. Next, add in a third a cup flour, which is gonna absorb some of that moisture. Stir constantly for two minutes to cook the flour. Add in one, one and three quarters cup chicken broth and a half a cup of heavy cream. Also add in a half teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of salt, and a few twists of black pepper, depending on your preference. Let that simmer, mmm, now it's starting to smell good, until the sauce thickens. Mine probably thickened a bit too much, but I was worried about making it too soggy. Add in three cups or however much chicken you have to the mixture and one cup frozen peas, which was apparently too much peas for my family. The nice thing is that you can adjust the veggies to meet your family or your game group's preference. Now your filling is done. Pour it into another bowl so it could cool while you prep your dough. You want to make sure it cools because if it's too warm, it can melt the butter in your dough and make an unhappy mess. Hey, while you're here, make sure you hit subscribe. Don't fly away. Roll your first disc of dough into a 12 inch circle and gently place it into a nine inch deep pie pan. Make sure you press it down the edges so it's nice and smooth. Prep your second layer by rolling the second disc into a 10 inch circle. Use a knife or a pizza cutter to cut the dough into strips. The cover of the game has a lattice with a blackbird's head coming out of it, so we're trying to replicate that design. Pour your filling into your prepared pie pan. Put every other strip of pie crust onto the pie going in the same direction. Now take the remaining strips and put them on so that it's alternating above and below the strips that we previously put on the pie. You can start at the top and go down or in the middle, whichever you prefer. Pinch the edges of the top and bottom crust together to give it a fancy wave look. Take your extra pie crust and cut out the shape of four crow heads. Arrange them on the top of the pie. Stick them on with a bit of heavy cream. Bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. At that point, lower the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and cook for another 40 minutes until the crust is golden brown and the filling bubbles. Resist the urge to eat this boiling hot thing and let it sit for 20 minutes before you cut so you don't get a soupy mess. Before serving, use food dye or edible markers to color the beak orange and the head black. Now it's time to eat. Yum, yum, yum.
thanks for watching another episode of board game bakes this is one i like to throw in that you could just make this at home and you could actually serve it for game nights and people won't complain that you're bringing a dessert over because it's a savory treat you could also even just use a pre-bought pie crust which i'd probably be likely to do if i was making it during the week let me know if there's any games you'd like to see featured this year ask questions below i love to get to know you guys more and just help to build this baking community Keep playing games and keep them sweet. Bye.